should not be in your fridge or in your diet anywhere. Make sure you're reading labels about that. But what we are going to learn from you, Ty, is how we can lose those forever. Mm -hmm. I love this. First of all, margarine. If you're still using that, get rid of it and replace it with? Well, you can A, just use regular butter, or if you want something with the spreadability of butter, try... Um, olive oil mixed with an equal portion of, uh, of just regular butter, mix it in the food processor, you have this wonderful creamy type of spread that will spread easily straight out of the, the it fridge. It just came out of the fridge. I just right. saw you Ty take it directly out of the fridge and that's how it looks and it spreads and that's always a hard thing with the butter because it right. gets so hard. Okay, so we move along. That's equal parts olive oil and butter. Now, if you're using cooking spray, like a lot of them have some toxic ingredients perhaps right. that you don't want to use anymore. And cooking sprays are, are excellent uh, because you can get a, a, a nice even coating with um, very little fat being used. So what you do is take, buy one of these uh, cooking sprays at a kitchen store. It's about 20 bucks and you can coat a pan with one spray for your eggs or for your pancakes. With olive oil, yeah. nice healthy fat. And if you are on a tight budget and want something a little less expensive than that 20 bucks, you can get this and it doesn't About a buck at the, at the hardware store, right? Very simple. I learned something new from you today that I've never heard before about coconut oil. Yes. It's the magic oil. That's right. I'm here to spread the gospel. <laughs> um, coconut oil is very exciting. It's uh, unlike most, most of the fats like olive oil or any other fats, it's only 6.8 calories per gram and it's also made out of mainly short chain or uh, medium chain fatty acids which means that it gets metabolized by your body very easily. So it doesn't want to be stored as fat. It goes oh stored directly into energy. Plus it's loaded with something called lauric acid which is only found in mother's milk and we all know how good that is. Yeah. And it helps boost your immune system and actually um, AIDS patients, hepatitis C patients, and herpes patients often uh, make sure they take a lot of uh, coconut oil supplements to get that immune system kind of boost. You know, I've never ever heard that before, and I think it's really interesting. I, I wouldn't mind showing you if I could what it looks like. Do it right here. See, it's kind of, it looks kind of weird. Well, it's, see, it's, it's a saturated fat. That, that's why it's solid at room temperature, which, uh, which means that it won't go rancid very easily. So it's nice. very healthy for you. Very nice. Excellent. And thank you so much for telling us about right. that oil, that silent oil that doesn't right. get to speak for itself. Now we want to taste. Let's do some eating. Let's do some, let's eating. Do some eating. Okay. Exactly. So this is the breakfast show. So let's do some breakfast stuff like... Uh, yeah. Pancakes. I love right. pancakes. We got, we got a pancake going here. And we discussed how syrup can sometimes be a little much, butter a little much, so you come a little up with a little too much sugar spread. might be bad. And, and I, I, I love total coverage on my pancakes, so yes. I always end up putting up too much butter, too much syrup, and it gets soggy. Icky. So I got this fantastic thing here that's light, it's rich, and it's tasty. And what you do is you take some, your plain old co uh, cottage cheese, right. and you take your everyday yogurt. Well, that's what but, it looks like first. Right, but then you put it in a strainer with some cheesecloth, and you see how all the liquid comes out. And uh, what you're left with is, is uh, it's this very, very lumpy cheese-like thing. It's very rich, very tasty. It's yogurt cheese. And we mix these two babies up together. And with a little bit of uh, maple syrup, and you get this very wonderful spread. It's tangy and it's I've sweet. I've tasted it. It's really and delicious. And all we do is we put that on the pancake. And we put on some wonderful fresh fruits. Yum. And this thing is amazing. Shane Foxman, come in and taste this because I already have. I've well, already you had know, the pleasure. Just hanging around. <laughs> no. Someone might invite me over for a snack. Taste that for a little bit. And, and see, that's a sweet one. Oh, that looks right. Great. But you've got a savory one too right. that you can make with the same stuff. So let's say the next morning, um, maybe you have some next friends morning. over, you want to make some brunch, and you just take this very, very same mixture that we just used. Now we put in some scallions, we put in some dough, and maybe a sprinkle of salt, and you have this um, new mix. And it's savory, and it's tangy, and it's very different and very exciting. Yum, like and it? Yeah. So we put in some toasted like bagel, <laughs> and we're gonna put some nice wild uh, See, I, salmon. I saved myself for wild salmon. Smoked salmon on there. Oh. And this is this is intense. Like this will rock your world. This is amazing. I'm so excited. So rock what it is? It's world. gonna rock your world. <laughs> it's like yogurt cheese that you can make yourself just by draining your yogurt with right. the cheesecloth, and then some cottage cheese, and then scallions, mm -hmm. and. And, and, chives. and it feels very it? rich, but it's completely low fat. I'm going to share it. Do you want some of this? Oh, no, this? I'm fine right here. I've got so much going on. Utai, thank you so much all for right. all that information. It was great. If you want more information about this, you can find it out on our City TV website. Uh, Simi, I'm going to save some of this for you.